Chris of Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at the 2013 Lexus ES350. Currently in its sixth generation, the ES has been a staple in the Lexus lineup since the beginning of Lexus time. Consumers happy with the Camry, but ready for more luxury, found the ES a perfect choice. This latest model arguably employs the most aggressive design language yet. The Lexus spindle-shaped grille and L-designed daytime running lights and taillights help to highlight the new motif. Our tester today came optioned with the premium package, hard disk drive navigation, 18-inch alloy wheels, and a few other options to bring its MSRP to $43,684. So let's take a look inside. Now inside the ES, you can see Lexus's current design cues. You've got the bird's eye dark wood trim with the metallic accents and piano black finishes. Lexus's new luxe seating surfaces are supple yet supportive and the front driver and passenger seats are 10-way power adjustable, which includes lumbar support. Now let's start it up and see how it sounds. Under the hood is a 3.5 liter aluminum V6 engine that makes 268 horsepower. It has made it to a six speed automatic transmission with sequential shift that drives the front wheels. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 21 miles per gallon city, 31 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 24. Auto academics saw an average of 25.1 miles per gallon during testing. Now let's look back inside. Now as we first take a look at the steering wheel, you can see that it has wood trim accents as well as leather and metal surfaces. And uh, on the left side, you've got your volume controls as well as your uh, up-down selectors and mode button. And on the right side, we have our voice control buttons as well as our telephone operation buttons and our button to adjust the display up on the dash. Taking a look at the instrument cluster, you have your temperature gauge on the left, your tachometer, in the center there is your information display, uh, and then next to that you have your speedometer and your fuel gauge. At the top of the dash is the 8 inch VGA screen with Lexus Inform and App Suite, uh, and it also has the hard drive navigation system with backup camera. Below that is the trademark Lexus clock. And then as we work our way down, you can see that uh, you've got your radio and media controls as well as your CD player slot there. And below that you have your air conditioning controls. Tucked underneath of the heating and ventilation controls, you have your heated seat operators. This dial is the drive mode select, which as you turn the dial, you can go from eco mode to normal mode to sport mode. Eco mode limits the air conditioning and heating so that you can get better fuel economy and sport mode makes some adjustments to the uh, steering resistance uh, to give it more of a heavier, sportier feel. Just below the drive mode select dial is your traction control off button. And then as we work our way over to the right, you see you've got your menu and your map return button, and then the uh, Lexus trademark mouse that is used to control options on the uh, large screen on top of the dash. Underneath of the center armrest is a decently sized cubby with uh, your 12 volt power connector as well as your USB and auxiliary ports. And with regards to storage, each leather lined door has large uh, map pockets as well. The glove compartment is just about large enough to hold all the manuals that come with the ES. And just below, you have a key to lock your glove compartment as well as your trunk opening cancel button. So how does the Lexus ES350 drive? The 3.5 liter V6 and six-speed automatic transmission 
make good use of the 268 horsepower. And the ES's suspension tuning, as well as its cabin isolation, is as good as any other Lexus in the lineup. If you're looking for a comfortable and serene ride, Lexus is still the company to, to, to consider. The interesting thing is that they've actually been working pretty hard at adding some sport into their drive as well. Now don't get me wrong, the ES is no hardcore sports sedan, but sometimes just looking the part can help. 